All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. This is the final chapter, at least for now. January 18th, 2000. From Dusk Till Dawn 3, The Hangman's Daughter. I want to let you know right away that this is a prequel. And it is set in Mexico in the 1900s. What I want to know is, how can you call it From Dusk Till Dawn 3 if it's a prequel? Think about it. The number 3, which comes after 2, would imply that it's a sequel, not a prequel. So somebody made a mistake there. That doesn't make any sense. They should have just called it From Dusk Till Dawn, The Hangman's Daughter. They should have just left the number out of it. Because numbers imply continuity, at least in my opinion. But anyway, it stars Marco Leonardi as Johnny Madrid. Michael Parks as Ambrose Bierce, Aura Celli as Esmeralda, Rebecca Gayhart as Mary Newley. She's basically the minister's wife or whatever. And they're supposed to preach to Mexicans. I find that a little insulting, as if Mexicans don't know who God is. That's kind of weird to me, but anyway. The movie opens up with them trying to hang Johnny Madrid, played by Marco Leonardi. And Esmeralda doesn't want him to get hung, so she intervenes. Next thing you know, he's got some kind of knife in his shoe that activates when he wiggles his toes, I guess. And he cuts the rope. He escapes. And it's just a bunch of Mexicans shooting each other for about 20 minutes. For no reason at all. It's like a cowboy movie, but only with vampires. Then we get to the good part, and they basically go to this hotel or brothel or whatever it is where you get nothing but sex. But this is like demon sex, so... You know... I was like, okay, I've never seen demon sex before. That was interesting. But, you know, the vampires were having sex with humans, and they were killing them. Gee, what a shock. I didn't see that coming. Of course, I'm saying that was sarcasm. I actually did see that coming. Because if you have sex with a vampire, obviously they're going to kill you. But I'm confused. Why would they have sex with you anyway? Because sex is for procreation, so... Vampires can't have babies, or can they? I don't know. We get to the brothel, or, you know, whatever you want to call it, the whorehouse, or whatever it was. They're having sex. They find out that they're vampires. I guess Johnny Madrid is supposed to be some legendary Mexican outlaw. And I have to say that even though this movie was cheesy, it was a bit better than the second one. I gotta give it that. And why is Danny Trejo in this movie again? He must like the Dusk Till Dawn franchise. I like this one a lot better than the second one. I enjoyed it. I can't wait to see the TV series. I'm going to start watching that tonight. A long story short, they end up killing Mary Newley, played by Rick. Becca Gayhart, they kill her husband John, everybody in the brothel or the whorehouse or whatever you want to call it, they all die, except for Johnny Madrid, even Esmeralda died, she was a vampire or the daughter of a vampire, something crazy like that, I'm not going to waste my time with this, like I said two other times, I enjoyed it better than the second one. And as usual, and I want to say this before I go, Mexico is overrun with vampires. And that's something that I really don't understand. So, all the Dusk Till Dawn fans, please explain to me, why are the vampires only in Mexico? But what am I looking at here, Mexican vampires? That sounds like a joke that you would tell, hey, I saw a Mexican vampire. That's the way they have that set up. 
I don't get it, but to make a long story short, Johnny Madrid ends up killing the vampires. He walks out of the whorehouse or whatever you call it. I don't know what the name for it is. So excuse the term if you get offended. People are so touchy these days. They don't like for you to, you know, refer to it as a whorehouse or whatever. He walks out of there. The sun comes up. It penetrates through the brothel or whatever you want to call it. The vampires burn up. There is still some alive. But Johnny lives. End of the movie. The camera shows the Mayan temple. And this movie came out in January of 2000. And I have to say, I'm really surprised that they didn't make another one just think about that guys and girls if you're listening this movie came out January 18th 2000 and they didn't make another one by now I don't get that I'm really surprised at that but that's my review of from dusk till dawn 3 the hangman's daughter I don't know why it's called 3, because it's a prequel, but, you know, again, whatever. I'm the Michael Myers fanatic, and I definitely approve this message. Thanks for listening.